let's check and see what the compaction might be like in this field. When you push that shovel in, you're going three inches maybe, yes. right? I mean, I bet Keith is pushing that shovel in just right down to this point here where this dry layer ends, and then we start seeing the moisture again. And when I pick away at this, you can see the compaction that's there. Um, so you can tell that the, the tillage that's occurring at the site is actually, it's a scratching of the surface, maybe just the top three inches. And then below that, we get this platy kind of structure, which indicates some compaction. So when we think about compaction, we think about water moving down from the surface to flush all these salts that are right here in the rooting zone. How far down can that water actually penetrate before it gets stopped by some layer that, it's, that, that holds it in place? So here, we're thinking about maximizing our ability to flush these salts from this area in the profile deeper and out of the rooting zone of our crops. We've got to be able to get the water through here. What we need to do is fix this surface and fix this compaction up here to get the water to move through. So again, you see the drying at the surface that occurs, which is exactly what we're trying to do with tillage. We're trying to prepare the seedbed, but also dry the soil to get the seed in there creating a very dry seed bed, and then we have all this moisture below here. The topsoils are highly variable out here, and when we think about erosion control, I mean, we want this topsoil to stay in place. This is our best shot at getting a good crop, is to have a nice, deep, thick topsoil layer, very rich in organic matter, free of salts. Erosion, they estimated in this area to be about five tons per acre. Um, and that's quite a bit, that's about the thickness of a dime. And when you add that up year after year after year, you start thinking about how much of the soil is actually moving off of the field, carrying all of this fertility, all of this good rooting zone material um, off the field. And eventually, because soil does not form very quickly, we'll be left with this. And nobody wants to farm this. So we really need to think about the importance of how variable these, these soils are in topsoil depth and keeping that soil in place. All right, well, thank you, Keith, for coming out today to look what's below ground. I really appreciate it. It's my pleasure. And hopefully we'll come back and, and do some more pits either at the share farm or other locations so that we can continue to look at, at how the soils are functioning and where we're trying to improve soil health.